in Hebrews 10, 32. He says, remember those earlier days after you have received the light, when you endured a great conflict full of suffering. Mm. The early apostles endured. The, the apostle Paul is saying then, remember, remember the earliest day, the earlier days after you have received the light, when you endured a great conflict full of suffering. Sometimes mm. you are publicly exposed to insults and persecutions. At other times you stood by while you were mistreated. You suffered along with those who were in prison and you joyfully accepted the classification of your property because you knew that you yourself had better and lasting possessions. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. He says you will need to persevere. And so when you have done that, God himself will receive you and he will give you what you have promised. Sometimes we need to persevere and persevere and persevere. Don't give up. I am a warrior. I'm a fighter. I know what I've been through. I know where I have been and I have had to stood my ground and I have had to fight through fighting through like a tiger, like a warrior, like a wounded lion. Sometimes you have to fight through. You won't allow the devil to finish you off. Hallelujah. Because those experiences, they make you stronger. It is out of those experiences that you will become the person that God created you to be. Right. Your experiences are not meant to destroy you. Those experiences are meant to bring out the person you are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In Psalm 119, verses 71. Psalm 119, verses 71. David says something very powerful here. He said, it was good for me to be afflicted so that I may know your decrees. David said, it was good for me to be afflicted so that I may know your decrees. James chapter 1 verses 2 to 8 says, count it all joy. Count it all joy. Are you able to flip it around by counting it all joy? That affliction you have been in, that pain, that rejection, that problem that you have been encountering, God said you are to count it joy. David said, I am happy that I went through all this because it has made me to be who you created me to be. I want you to pray, no matter the experience. I don't know the power you have given to that experience, but I want you to, to say tonight, you're going to walk out for my good. <laughs> The Bible says that for the sake of you and I, Jesus endured the shame of the cross because of you and I. The Bible says the cross of shame was a thing of joy for the Lord. If we can change the way we see our problems... God wants you to know that those experiences are meant to teach you something. Ask God for the lesson. Ask God to help you to learn the lesson and to drop those experiences in the